Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of TV with me and uh, tonight I am doing a Hulu documentary or Hulu exclusive documentary and uh, as you can tell it's Hillary Clinton it's about Hillary Clinton if you do not like the Clintons or do not like Hillary Clinton you can turn this video off because you ain't going to want to hear what I have to say, okay? And I don't want to hear it in the comments either. I don't want any hate. Um, you know, everybody's entitled to their beliefs and to their options and to their vote, okay? That's the beauty of the United States of America. One vote for every voice or one voice, one vote or whatever. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's the beauty of America is that... Uh, you know, we all have uh, the ability to vote and to make our voice and our opinions be heard. <clears throat> so, um, but anyway, so back, uh, even when Hillary ran against Obama, uh, you know, through the primaries and everything like that, I voted for Hillary Clinton. Um, I just thought she was a great advocate for the gay and lesbian community. But back then... I wasn't as savvy in politics as I am now. Um, I love Obama. I, I love President Obama. I love Michelle Obama. I think they were incredible as the president and first lady. Um, love them. Um, in the uh, 2016 election, um, I was a big Hillary supporter. Um, did I see things that I thought were unfair? Yes. Um, you know, uh, did I read all the stuff about her and start to think, oh my God, what am I supporting? Yes. <laughs> um, you know, there was a time where I was, I mean, I still voted for her because I, you know, weighed the pros and the cons. And to me, uh, given the choice I was given, I felt like she was the best option of the two. Um, so, you know, I did support her in 2016. Um, but I did have my doubts from, you know, listening to all the crap that's out there. So anyway, when Hulu had announced this, that they were going to do this documentary, I was pretty interested. And um, it's really well done. Um, it's really well done. It has a lot of... Um, photos and news footage and stuff from the past um and it's i can't remember if it's three episodes or four episodes i think it's four i think there's four parts and each part is like an hour long so it's like a four hour long documentary but i watched it twice <laughs> because i wanted to make sure i heard everything correctly i wanted to uh make sure that um, if there were things that I was curious about that I heard them or that they were mentioned. Um, but I will have to say that she's been put through it. She really has been put through it. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, I think she started out as a bright-eyed, bushy-tailed uh, go-getter um, and was excited to, you know, she did, you know, she came from a modest, uh, you know, upbringing and then, you know, finds her way into law school when women weren't lawyers or weren't really welcome in law school. And not only did she go to law school, but she went to an Ivy League law school, um, you know, and that's where she met Bill and, you know, um, and just all this stuff, all the stuff that she went through as a law student and then she helped with the whole um, Nixon Watergate impeachment scandal. Um, and then, you know, all the stuff that she went through with, you know, she's just. She, yeah, I just, I can't imagine. It, it blew my mind because like when she was the first lady of, um, well, I mean, number one, she had her own agenda. When Bill asked her to marry him, you know, she had her own stuff she wanted to do. She didn't say yes right away, you know. And, um, 
you know, she went to Washington, D.C. He was in Arkansas. Uh, you know, finally, they did get married. He became the attorney general uh, and then the governor. And then she was like the first lady. And they picked on her constantly because she was, you know, she didn't have his last name. And she wasn't doing all the hoity-toity things that, uh, you know, women were expected to do back then to support their man. You know, she was her own person, you know. And, um you know, they gave her so much flack for that. And then, you know, they, you know, run for, you know, he runs, Bill runs for president and he wins. And then she's trying to support her husband and she's trying to be a good first lady and, and you know, is trying to champion health care for all. Um, you know, this was before Bernie Sanders, you know, she was doing that, you know, the Medicare for all. And, you know, I mean, people just constantly picked her apart. I mean, people were always trying to find things you know, to pick on her. And then, of course, the whole, you know, Monica Lewinsky thing, which, you know, I thought that that was so tastefully done in this documentary, the way that they talk about it. And even Bill, you know, being apologetic and saying that he wished that he would have done things differently because, um, you know, he thinks... I think he regrets the trauma that he's caused to Monica and her family and her life and thinks how different would her life be? Would it be better, you know, if she, you know, if things hadn't happened the way that they happened? Now, of course, she had a, you know, she had a choice too, but she was young and he was the president. So yes, what he did was wrong. And, uh, you know, but, you know, all this came out Chelsea was like a teenager. And I mean, I can't imagine what poor Chelsea went through, number one. And two, what Hillary went through, that this is all your husband's affair is public and everybody's flipping out. Um, you know, just craziness, you know. So got through all that. She decided to stay with her husband. And who knows what her motives were, you know, maybe her motives were survival. But I've had, I've known lots of women that I love and respect who stayed with their husbands through thick and thin for survival or for, you know, their family, for their children. And I don't think that's a sign of weakness. I think that's strength. It takes a lot of strength to be with somebody who might beat you or makes you miserable or, you know, that, that, you know, yes, it takes courage to leave, but it takes courage to stay too. And I, I get it. You know, do I want somebody to be in an abusive relationship or do I want somebody to be in a relationship with somebody that, that treats them badly? No. But do I understand their reasons and I'm, I going to condemn them for staying? No, because it's none of my business. I am, I am, you know, it's not my business. If you want my support, you have it. But, you know, we don't know what her reasons were for staying, you know, but she stayed and she paid a price for that. Because honestly, like you watch this and when she was running for president, women were, well, not just women, lots of people were just horrible about, you know, they basically blame her for Monica Lewinsky. Even when she was debating Trump, you know, Trump would bring up all the women that Bill Clinton you know, sexually assaulted or, or had indecent, you know, interactions with or whatever. Why, why was that on her? I don't get it. I, it, it, it's like her whole career, she has had to pay for the sins of her husband. And, uh, you know, just stuff about, you know, the Clintons have had people killed and all that. It's like, come on, you know, if this stuff really happened, nobody is above the law. And as much as people hate her, don't you think if that stuff was true that they would have found out by now and they'd be in prison? I mean, just, you know, craziness, craziness, craziness. And just the hypocrisy, the hypocrisy of what's going on in our current administration versus what went on in the Clinton administration and the same people are involved and flip-flop. I mean, just the whole thing is just unbelievable. But I have become, after watching this documentary and after, uh, you know, I watched her interview with, Hillary Clinton's interview with Howard Stern, which was amazing. If you 
have the time to watch that, watch that also with Hillary Clinton and Howard Stern. But this documentary was very well done and uh, really told the story of an amazing American woman and a champion, not just for women, um, but for children, um, for uh, you know, pe- communities of color, for uh, the GLBTQA plus community. I mean, Hillary Clinton has really, really put herself out there. Um, and I really th- hope that one day history will stop crucifying her for what her husband has done and realize that she is a, an incredible woman um, who has, uh, you know, lived a life of service to her country and to the world. You know, as Secretary of State, she did a lot of amazing things. Um, you know, a lot of good things. And I know there's Benghazi and all that stuff too. You know, I, I get it. I get that people blame her for things, but, you know, I honestly don't think... It's just like with, uh, you know, President Bush with 9-11. No matter what he would have done, nobody would have... Everybody would have said he did the wrong thing with 9-11. And I wasn't a Bush supporter. I'm not a Trump supporter, but... Uh, you know, I can see when he's trying and I can see when he's trying to do good things and I think he does do good things. You know, I I just think we need to get away from this two-party craziness attacking each other all the time and it's always hypocrisy at, at its worst. And we all have a brain. The American people have brains. You know, we need to stop calling these people our leaders and start calling them we're the boss we're the boss we make the choices we are their boss we are the leaders they work for us and i think we as the american people need to use our power we need to use our power and we need to unite stop letting these the republicans and democrats say this and that and make us believe this and that and divide us, um, you know, we need to all work together. And I think that was another thing that Hillary Clinton um, did really well and the Clinton administration did really well is there was a lot of bipartisan um, good things going on behind the scenes. You know, Hillary Clinton, um, uh, you know, traveled with John McCain and and did a lot of good things as uh, Secretary of State and as a Senator for New York. you know, I mean, I don't know. You guys have to, I could ramble on forever. This video is almost 15 minutes, so I need to cut it short. But, um, you know, watch Hillary. It is, uh, you know, a Hulu document- documentary, and it's in four parts, um, but it is so worth the watch. It really is worth the watch. And um, let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I don't want any fighting or any negative bad vibes I uh, you know I'm curious to know what you guys think Um, and like I said I'm sure that she's got skeletons in her closet who doesn't but um, all in all I really do think that um, she uh, should be remembered as um, an American icon and a a woman uh, in, in history that was Uh, that broke barriers and uh, did good things, you know, and made our country and our world a better place, um, especially for women and uh, and GLBTQA plus people. um, And uh, I really believe um, that she would have made an amazing president. You know, I think she would have been a great president. I think she would have been a fantastic uh, woman president to be our first woman as president, I think would have been pretty amazing but it didn't happen um and uh but i really uh am so glad that they made this documentary because i really learned a lot by watching it and uh i really have a whole new respect for hillary clinton and um 
Anyway, you guys should all watch it and see what you think. And until next time, remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. Be blessed. Bye.